check this out. I got a really good deal on cat litter yesterday at uh, the Dollar Tree. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. here to participate in the third annual uh, Wings for Autism tours that are taking place uh, today. And the reason why I'm here is because, uh, as I said, this is the very uh, program that got me uh, interested in autism airport rehearsal tours and got me thinking that, hey, I need to be getting involved because, um, A, I traveled all over the world, and B, I uh, just felt that there needs to be more uh, practical steps, which are very small, and that includes uh, take, go, coming to the airport on a regular basis and taking baby steps, uh, maybe like a six-week course, and this is an ongoing program that's uh, more than once a month and more than once a year. And as I said, these steps are more like uh, you're uh, getting ready to board an airplane and you're actually traveling through an airport where you practice learning how to carry your luggage. So I'm here today and this is something I'm super excited about. These folks are very close to my heart and I'm just here to also have a good time and remember to kick back and relax. But yeah, that was just really good. But anyway, on my way here, there was some interesting uh, things that happened on the train earlier. Basically, uh, there was somebody on the train, I guess, that was soliciting. I heard somebody over the, or the, the conductor, the, the operator of the MARTA, uh, stalking over the loudspeakers, uh, saying, sir, no soliciting, no soliciting, sir. And then a, a few uh, stations down, we pulled into Peachtree Center, where I often get off to uh, go to work. And I go to uh, school, because that's, that's the main hub for Georgia State University. Uh, I also use that hub when I want to walk to uh, Centennial Olympic Park or whatever. But there was a, a man sitting on the train and I didn't realize it, but I uh, saw the officers first this morning and as they were walking into the train, uh, or walking, they walked into our car, the, or the, the car that I was sitting into, and they uh, talked to a man behind me and they told him that he needed to get off because they didn't want him on the train. And I'm wondering if he was the person that was trying to solicit or he was trying to panhandle, whatever, whatever it was. Um, and sure, he was angry, but luckily he uh, cooperated. And uh, yes, I mean, I saw him flip the bird off, or I believe I saw him flip the bird off, but that's the beauty of riding public transportation is uh, you get all kinds of weird people. But otherwise, that the trip down was smooth it's just a beautiful clear day even though it's only going to be about 69 degrees today and I had a chance as you can see uh, to get a good shot of uh, of the midtown Atlanta skyline so 
Yeah, that was really exciting. Um, but without further delay, I'm about to sign off. They're getting ready for this uh, program to begin. My? Oh, My. Yes, so I'm vlogging. Who's this? Okay, look, check this out. I got coffee. That's great. And I got pastries. <laughs> And check this out, YouTube. Look at all these beautiful, fun shapes that these um, pastries are made out of. And thank goodness, YouTube, Passover is over, so I'm back to uh, eating hummets again. You bum.